It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Hop Hunter IPA. Uh, this beer has been brewed with distilled hop oil uh, or farm distilled hop oil. Uh, it's 6.2% ABV. Sierra Nevada, classic brewery now. They've expanded recently into a bigger brewery and I'm pretty sure that we're going to carry on getting fantastic products from them. Lots of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at that. A lovely... Yeah, you can tell. This has come from the new brewery. You can tell, just look at the quality of that beer. Some people, you know, and at the same time, at the same time that looks really clear. But if I can get it to focus, if I can get it close enough, you might be able to see the smallest amount of haze in the beer. Just floating around there. Nice levels of carbonation. There's a one finger, or just about a one finger white head. But that is a quality looking product. So you can't really call it a, a, a totally kind of filtered beer because it's so, it's so much fine sediment floating around in that glass. It's great. Let's get the aroma on this golden coloured ale. It's bready and biscuity, but with a massive hot punch. It's one of their beers, or one of this type of beer, is all in the tasting. It's probably all in there. You get slight hop aromas, but it's more of a biscuity, bready aroma. I think the hops are going to shine in the glass, hopefully. Cheers. Yeah, oh yeah, that one was long. That one was kind of, I was waiting and waiting and waiting for that bitterness to kind of really smash home. And um, being called Hop Hunter, if there was anything less, I would have been really disappointed. But it, it does hold on to that kind of smashing bitterness. You just gotta wait for it. So nicely carbonated beer. You get a lot of malt in there, a lot of biscuity malt. It's grapefruity, it's piney, citrusy, citrus lemon. But I can't help but think, even though the, you know it's been brewed with distilled hop oil, it's still a kind of a manufactured process. Um, I still think fresh hop flowers in the brew would have maybe, this is an eight out of 10 beer all day long. It's a really, really good beer. But I think if it had, Fresh hops added. You know their fresh hop beer, their celebration ale. That is monstrous. That is one heck of a beer. It is fantastic. And it's brewed to celebrate kind of the September time when they're gonna harvest the hops. It's a fresh hop beer. Although this is very good, they've kind of made the, the beer or, or the, certainly the hops, it's an oil, it's a, it's a hop extract, it's a hop oil, rather than that classic, classic hop, fresh hop flower taste that we all love and enjoy. So I've already given the rating. It's 
it's an 8 out of 10. That bitterness comes through, but you're left to wait for it a little while. And you, at the beginning, I was wondering if it was going to come at all. I think the Celebration Ale, by them, fresh hop flowers, I think that bitterness comes smashing through straight away. Or it did do years ago when I tried it. It was a fantastic beer. Uh, right, steam distilled hop oil gathered right in the hop fields gives a mighty boost to the floral and citrus notes of traditional whole cone hops. Pardon me, for intense unmatched hop aromatics. 60 IBUs. And it goes on about hop torpedoes and everything else on the back, but I haven't got time to read you that today. Um, 8 out of 10, thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.